Now, we all love the game of golf, but you know what we don't love is that admission price. This episode of Birdies Not BS, we're going to discuss some tips on how to golf on a budget. Golf is not that hard. Well, it doesn't have to be. That's why we cut through all the highbrow golf BS to give you what you really need to know to enjoy the golfing experience. I'm Doug Smith. And I'm Cheyenne Woods. And together we have over 50 years experience playing the game of golf at every level. Every week we'll break down a new topic in 10 minutes or less, answering some of the most popular questions in golf today. You're welcome. So golf traditionally, as a lot of us, have experienced is one of the most expensive sports it's not to cheap. play. It's so not cheap. And a lot of us who have been in the sport for years and years, we've figured out ways to golf on a budget. Mm -hmm. I feel like you just called me old, but you are <laughs> correct. There are yes. ways to ball on a budget. You know, it's it's this game is, is as much as we love it. Let's face it. It's not cheap. You know, Cheyenne, I know you've done some research around the average price for a golf round, which is what now? So golf rounds, you know, on the lower end, $50, $50, which is great, you know, for most people, but they can range all the way up to 500 for Ooh, where are 18 you playing? Hold on, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where golf. are you playing golf for $500? Well, you know, you want to hit up the, the coast, go to Pebble Beach. Pebble is five. Oh, yeah, it's like 560 at Pebble. I mean, it gets pricey. Ooh. So obviously for the golfers out there, we want to figure out how can we how can we cut these prices down a little bit? Okay. You right. know, when it comes to golf clubs, they range from 400 to 1200 or, you know, there's some brands up Not there that I go you. up to 5000 Not if I fit you. You know, it's pricey. Golf balls can range up to $50 a dozen. Mm. And if you're hitting them everywhere, those golf balls go quick. Splash. So. Let's talk about it, all right? Let's, I want to start with golf balls, right? Yes. $50 a box, right? Yes. There's only 12 of them in a box. I'm not a mathematician, but that's like five, six dollars a ball. Yeah, yeah, it adds up quick, and so that puts a lot of pressure on every shot. You see that water hazard Ooh, on the left. It's like balling up some fives and just it's, some some, you see in dollar some signs. And just throwing them over there. Yes. All right, so let me ask. All right, we got the big brands, right? You got your Pro Vs and your and your you know tailor made TP five Xs and Bridgestone balls. What are some other avenues to get balls on on a kind of a lower end? Not lower end. Let me rephrase that. What are some other avenues to get balls that are more affordable but still high quality? You can get super high quality balls that are experienced. You know, they've had a few rounds in Ooh. them. There are a lot of websites or stores that sell used golf balls. These aren't your beat up, chipped, cut balls. These are balls that have literally been used maybe twice ever. So this is a great opportunity for golfers who want to save a lot of money to go get that newest edition of the golf ball that has just experienced a few rounds or two. I like that. I like that idea. There's a couple of brands. I forget off the top of my mind right now where you can go onto their website and you can buy like two boxes and get one free or some things like that. So also be able to utilize those avenues to get your golf balls. And as crazy as it sounds, maybe not for some, but you could also, when you're out playing golf, you could find some in the bushes. You could find some in the pond. And <laughs> I like I've that. honestly I like found that. some brand new balls I've done it before. in the desert or like barely in the water. And you've got to snatch those up. I can't disagree with you. <laughs> I can't. We've all done I'm it. I'm being honest. We've okay? all done it. All right. So now as we are in this progression and we'll get to golf rounds later and playing the game, but let's talk equipment. I'm sure in the same vein, when we're talking equipment, there are similar strategies to those balls. Definitely. You know, there's so many secondhand stores, websites where you can find used golf clubs that are still top brands and barely used, but you're not paying $500 mm -hmm. for a driver when you might only play once a month. Mm. Is it really worth that price tag? It's really, is it? So yeah, I think it's really, I think it's really beneficial for you, the listener, to go to these websites, kind of research a little bit of where you can save these these dollars on these used golf clubs. You know, I'll tell you another way to find really good clubs, because we all know that one guy or gal that gets every new club. It's like by having the new cell phone. They need, they need the latest technology, as if the newest driver is any faster than last year's model. Sidebar, every driver is the same speed when it leaves the manufacturer. The USGA tells you how fast the ball can leave the face. So, and I have another sidebar. I know a lot of top tour players that don't ever play the newest edition of the club. Some players are out there still playing clubs that were made five years ago. Because they're still good. And so it's a misconception that you see these commercials, you mm -hmm. see these ads, and you always need the newest and best things, and you don't. But if you do know somebody that does give in to these marketing ploys and all of these ads, Go see if they'll give you their last year's driver or go see if you can buy it off them. You'll get it for pennies on the dollar and you'll have last year's newest, hottest, greatest thing that eight months ago was the best driver ever 
or the best iron set ever or the best putter ever, that's still going to do the same thing that it did eight months ago today for you. And for those who think or might feel a certain way about going to a secondhand store and getting used golf clubs, Tony Finau, who is now PJ Tour Phenom, started playing golf by going and getting one club at a time from a secondhand store mm -hmm. and learning the game of golf. And that's a great way to learn the game. Earn your club. And I love Tony and Tony's dad for doing that. He had to earn his next set. But here's the elephant in the room, Cheyenne. Game's expensive. After you get clothes and clubs and you've recycled golf balls, you still got to get out to the links. What tips do you have for us to find affordable rounds of golf in this game that can consistently be expensive? Some people may not know there are lots of websites out there that will specifically give you the cheapest tee times available right now. Mm. You go on the website, it knows your location. You can specify on what time of day you want to play. It'll give you a range. I've been on there and there's $15 tee times, there's $20 tee times. Um, and that's a great way to kind of research and see what's available in your area. Also, I think people should take advantage of Twilight. Oh, I was about to say that. You took that Twilight right out of my times. mouth. Twilight yes. after two. So at most golf courses, you're going to get a, a certain rate in peak hours. So morning eight to 10 is going to be a price from one to two is going to be a price. And then the twilight basically starts from two and on. And you can get golf for like 40%, 50% off of the actual rate that it would cost you. And in some of the areas where you're listening, where there's daylight savings time and you can play golf till 8, 30, 9 o'clock, that's a great option. Exactly. And a lot of people think you have to play 18 holes. You don't have to play 18 holes. A lot of courses will allow you to pay a nine hole fee, which is hopefully half the price. And if you're playing twilight, sometimes you might only be able to get nine in. So these few things that we mentioned, I think would help you, the listener, really save a lot of money on your next golf outing. Use balls, use clubs, late rounds, or you can always sneak on the course like I grew up doing. It's just, you know, Mondays 100%. at most country clubs, by the way, I'm just going to give you a little sidebar. Mondays, country clubs are usually closed. All the maintenance people are done cutting the grass at like 11 o'clock. So from 11 o'clock on, you can have run of the mill of the place. Also, wherever you play, be sure to tip your bartenders and your caddies and your outside staff. I don't want to hear about you guys out there that aren't giving two, three, five, ten dollars to the guys out on the outside wiping your clubs down. I mean, with all that money that you just saved, you'll have a few extra to tip. Absolutely. And as always, now it's time for our Let's Get Technical phase, where we take it from Golf 101 and turn it up the notch to Golf Like 205. This week, I think Cheyenne's got a question for us from IG. From Instagram, we want to know, what kind of golf ball should I be using? Wow, that can go so many different directions. First, we need to talk price. You know, Pro V's and TP5 axes and Bridgestone balls, those balls can be in the upper ranges of $44 to $55 a box. So the question is, we all have the ability to play these premium golf balls, but does it hurt when you hit it in the water? You know, does that... It always you, hurts. When you hit, it does always hurt. I think what you could do is go read the reviews from Golf Works, My Golf Spy, Golf Digest, Golf.com. Read the reviews. See which balls may perform the best for you. Some balls spin more. Some balls spin less. Some balls launch high. Some balls launch lower. Read the reviews. Find out which ball is right for you. Shyam, how did you find the ball that you play? For me, the most important is looking at my driver, how it's performing, and looking around the greens. I don't think the mid irons and long irons are as important for the everyday golfer, but for me, I play the Bridgestone BXS. It lowered my spin, it increased my distance, and I have feel around the greens, and it was a perfect fit for me. Everybody's different. That's why it's important to find what works specifically for you. And she doesn't play a yellow ball, but I do, and I'm comfortable with that. So if you want to play a yellow style. ball or a pink ball or an orange ball, whatever fits your eye, feel free because my rods and cones are seeing yellow really, really well right now. So if you want to play a red ball, black ball, green ball, blue ball, feel free to play whatever ball you want. And as always, thank you for listening. Be sure to go on to whatever listening platform you've been hearing us on. Give us five stars in the review column and be sure to hit us up, birdiesnotbs.com. Or on social media, you can follow us at Birdies Not BS. 